Well, go on, massive. I am FZiba. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, special welcome to you on this channel. I talk about my personal stories of healing, my hair growth story, and just about anything that helps me to live naturally on a budget. Now, in today's video, we're going to be exploring a very interesting ornamental plant. And I say ornamental because a lot of persons, they use it in their gardens. But oftentimes, the medicinal benefit of this plant is overlooked. So we're going to zoom in on it. And, you know, we're going to learn a thing or two about this special plant. It is called the Jamaican monkey fiddle. Now, there are other monkey fiddles in other parts of the world. And so I'm being very deliberate in saying the Jamaican monkey fiddle. Now, this plant, the Jamaican monkey fiddle, it is also known as Jew bush or devil's backbone. How the prickles grow along the plant, you know, I guess that's why they call it devil's backbone. Now, this plant, it has, as I said before, some really amazing benefits. And I'm going to tell you, you see, there are about two plants that I don't like. And this is one of them, but that won't prevent me from sharing and the benefits of it. The monkey fiddle, jew bush, or zigzag plant is a type of succulent. Um, I'm aware of at least two species. There could be more. Um, so this one, it is more toxic and it is generally not taken or ingested internally. Um, this one though that I'm showing you is the one that we actually use for its medicinal properties. So the main healing benefit of this type of monkey fiddle is that it eliminates or discharges phlegm from the body. It can be used to treat asthma, bronchitis and the common cold. However, both species, this and the other one that I mentioned earlier, are used topically to treat things such as bunions, calluses or, you know, we call them corn in Jamaica. Um, it's also, the sap of it is also used to treat warts and the juice is used to treat ear infections, skin conditions such as ringworm and other type of skin fungi. Now the plant has anti-inflammatory properties and so yes the tea um, is sometimes had to treat joint pain. Now the monkey fiddle is shown to have healing effects in the treatment of insect bites. So you know in some parts of the world the plant is used to treat snake bites and to treat things such as leptospirosis that persons get from I guess consuming rat droppings. Now how is it used to discharge the flame from the body? The juice is usually extracted um, by pounding the leaves and then you squeeze it and you extract the juice and then it is administered. And the caution is this causes severe vomiting and diarrhea. But some persons who take it say, boy, it's one of the best decisions they make because after they take it, a lot of things come up off the stomach and so on. So, you know, um, it really does cause some severe vomiting. Now, the extracted juice can also be applied to the skin to treat skin conditions such as rashes. And as I mentioned earlier, the same sap is just rubbed onto the area where, where there is ringworm or any other type of fungus. And it is used to treat those things in that way. Now, the leaves of the plant are sometimes combined with blue vervain and ginger to make a tea to treat the common cold. And then also the leaves can be had by themselves. So, you know, some persons will just feel like making a cup of tea out of it yes they'll go ahead and just use a few leaves to make a cup of tea now the precautions i can't warn you enough about this plant the sap from the plant especially the version i show you not this one so much the sap from the plant can cause severe irritation and at all costs Guys, you need to avoid getting this to the eyes because it could actually cause blindness. Now, the plant can also cause itching and burning. And this particularly is if you're allergic to the plant. Because as you can see here, I am actually touching the plant and I'm not experiencing any of those kind of symptoms. As I said, this is the edible version and it won't have those harmful effects as the other version that I showed you. Please be reminded that I'm not a medical practitioner and so if you're having issues remember to visit or consult with your doctor before using any of these herbs and especially this one you want to ensure that if you're ever going to be taking it you're under the supervision of somebody who knows how to administer herbs now we've come to the end of the video thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one